So um, today I wanted to do a tutorial um, inspired by the movie Trolls. I don't know if you've seen it, but I do have two small children, so majority of what I watch now, um, it's like nothing over a PG rating, let's be real. Um, so, you know, it's very rare that my fiance and I get to go out and watch, you know, an adult film. Um, so we went to go see Trolls and we absolutely loved it. Uh, I have to say for a kid's movie, it was really funny. The music, the colors, just all of it, I loved it. So um, I was inspired and I wanted to do something kind of more colorful instead of my normal kind of bronzy natural mom makeup but anyway uh, and I had come across this pigment from MAC that I think I used in my last tutorial magenta madness and I just oh my god I thought of like poppy and look at this it's the color of my red cheeks but anyway um so now you see me in the flesh no makeup um we're gonna you know start from scratch together and get ready together and um yeah so I felt really inspired I want to share this with you it is pretty bold but it's fun so if you have a night out somewhere or you just want to be different be crazy outside the box then please keep on watching <laughs> okay so you'll notice like every tutorial I always wear some type of a headband I just feel like it makes it easier to apply all of your products without getting it in your hair um, and who doesn't want to look like a hot little old nun right <laughs> So um, every tutorial, especially when it comes to bold makeup, I like to use um, just regular scotch tape, very gently place it um, on the eye, pick the angle that you know you're going to want your product to go and where you're going to want your eyeliner to kind of go into. And this is just going to really help um, get you like a, just a, I guess a sharp edge really. Um, normally when I do my eye makeup, I I really don't tape or anything like that because at this point I've been doing it for so long and it's my personal routine. I feel like I don't have to be so on point. I like that it's more natural, but for bold looks I like it to be kind of hot on point. Nice edge to it, real sleek. So um, we're going to start with tape and Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. Just going to take a little bit on here and it's like down to the nitty gritty and it doesn't even have a sponge on at this applicator but anyway okay so we're gonna rub this all over the lid and I like to go up into the brow bone too and I'm like legit right out of my shower for you guys doing the damn thing because I just want to get to it show you guys some cool stuff Okay, so make sure that is blended in really nicely. And then I just kind of give it a few seconds to kind of settle in and do its thing. Um, and then we're going to start going in with our colors. We're going to use the BH, and I know I said it wrong in my last video. It's the 120 color palette. I was thinking of Morphe with the 350. This is the BH first, or excuse me, second edition 120 palette. It's backwards on the camera here. That's awesome. <laughs> But anyway, um, it's all really bright colors, and I have to say they're really pigmented. BH Cosmetics, um, it's extremely affordable, and if you're, especially if you're just starting out or if you're a pro and you need some really cool palettes to use, it's just great to have on hand. Um, and I just, the colors in it really reminded me of like Skittles, rainbows, which reminds me of Trolls. So um, I'm going to be working mostly with those today and then of course my MAC pigment as well. Um, and yeah, so let's get to it. Okay guys, so um, bear with me. I'm We're going to kind of just take this as it comes. I haven't really mapped out what I wanted to do with this look, but I know in my crease I would like to have some type of an orange um, and possibly even like a goldish yellow. So. Before I put any of those in, I'm going to kind of use this camel color here from the BH palette. And we're going to start that in the crease. And I'm going to use probably a more tapered defining brush because it is a little bit of a rich color. So take that on there, dust a little out, and start working this in our crease here. Now, on camera here, it's almost kind of looking a little bit more yellow, so I think that's good because I feel like 
it's going to blend really well with the orange. So, just windshield wiper it back and forth. A little bit on the edge of the eye as well. And um, with these palettes, you know, just kind of go with the flow, whatever you think, as far as your pigment, um, how much pigment you want placed. But I kind of want to do like pretty bold and loud today. So I'm pretty happy with that. Next I'm going to do is in that same palette, I'm going to go in with some more bright oranges. I'm taking about three different colors. I like to blend a lot of different colors to get what I want. Um, so we're going to take that on that same brush and start putting in some orange. And if you hear that kind of like tap, I like to tap out my excess so it's better to kind of start light and build the color. It's very hard to start taking away color if you put too much on. So I go back and forth and then I just kind of take a step back, look at it, make sure it's enough pigment till I'm satisfied. What I'm doing is where that camel color is, there's also some soft kind of muted browns. And I'm going to start working with those now and using that same brush, try to intensify the crease just a little bit more. If you can see that, my lighting's kind of crappy in here, but hopefully soon. Good old tax man's coming to town, hoping to get a nice ring light, so we'll see. That's my son in the background. He likes to make appearances with me. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with um, the base of the crease and where I want to go with it. Now I'm going to take um, a fluffy brush here and a little bit of like a kind of golden rod yellow color tap. And just kind of blend this in. I know it looks pretty bright, but I want, I don't know, I want this to be bold. The next step is I'm going to take my Jumbo Eye Pencil from NYX NYX and this is in the color Milk. It says 604 and I'm going to place this all over my eyelid and it's okay if you're covering up the yellows and the golds because this is going to be our primer and it's going to help us kind of, you know, cut the lid out so that this way the magenta will really pop. I find that with a really bright color like a magentas, neons, um, golds, yellows, you know, anything that's real light and bright, I would much rather use a milk pencil, like a white. Um, and then if it's like a real rich color, like a, a blue, like azores and emeralds, I'd rather use a um, kind of more bronzy or brown pencil to kind of use as an eyeshadow base. So let's just get that in there. You can use your finger or a small brush. Just make sure it's even. Make sure you created the amount of lid space that you want to work with. Okay. And now I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow brush in that magenta color and we're going to start packing that color on the lid. Now using a flat brush, I'm just going to go in and try to perfect the edges a little bit. Make sure it's really packed on this color and it's nice and even. It's going to look a little crazy, like I said, till we get our liner on, till we get our tape removed and we really blend everything out. But bear with me, guys. And I've lined underneath my eye, which is why it kind of looks really crazy and out there. Because we're going to be putting some bright colors underneath as well. Okay, so I went in and did my other eye as well. 
Now we're going to start putting some of this color, the pink, right into the corner of the eye. And again, it's okay if it looks crazy because once everything blends and comes together, it will start looking very different. Now we're going to go to a small kind of definer brush and this is um, very compact but it works well for underneath the lash line. We're going to use some grape colors from that BH palette and we're going to start tracing underneath here right under the lash line. And we already have that little bit of pink there so we're going to connect the purple and the pink and just smoke out this lower lash line. And it's okay if you pull up into the gold and the pinks because I just think it gives it a really cool kind of rainbow effect. And again you have that white pencil down there so this should be coming up real nice and bright. You can also, like if you don't want to get an eyeshadow pencil, I've used like white eyeliner pencils, like real cheap ones from like Wet n Wild and stuff. I think they're like 99 cents, but um, they work just as good to really brighten and use as a base. And if you need them softer, if it's like a cheapy pencil and it's kind of hard, um, you can just melt it with a lighter or candle flame just be careful don't please don't blow your house up because I don't need people coming after me and be like oh Nicole told me to do that um <laughs> but no be careful and um you can do that so okay so now we have our purple and then what I want to do is go back in with a really hot pink and just kind of warm that purple up so it makes it like a custom color again these are all from the BH palette so any kind of like neon palette you have will work even if it's like a really you know like a more expensive brand like an Urban Decay I know they had like an electric palette out anything like that any neon colors you have um, NYX makes a bunch of them too NYX I don't even know if it's NYX or NYX I'm gonna say NYX but you know what I'm talking about okay so we have that scent and now I think I'm going to go in with something even more bold on my eyelid just to top that magenta and make it really bright and poppy. Literally, poppy. Troll. Okay guys, so being that I'm doing this as I'm coming along here, I took um, a more like condensed defining brush again and I took um, a red like a real kind of fire truck red and an orange and just kind of made more of a burnt orange and I wanted to kind of place that right in that corner here and just smoke it out. I know it, like I said it looks crazy but it's gonna all start coming together soon um, and then I'm gonna take one of these shader brushes with a really you know bright yellow color and focus that more on the inside so that we're going from this kind of brighter yellow into this darker kind of orange look and again like you don't have to go as bold as me but I just thought like it'd be really fun and it's kind of like I don't know different it's bright it's crazy and then I want to deepen under my eye a little more so I'm just gonna pop one more purple I like the the warmth of the pink in it but I think it still needs a little more purple There we go. Okay. So now let's get to eyeliner. I actually picked up a new one. I'm sure it's been out for a while because I'm never like the girl that the second something new comes out by any line, I'm like the first person to the store. No, I don't have time for that. Um, but this is Maybelline Master Precise Eye Studio Ink Pen Eyeliner. And I, you know me, I love to go a little bit cheaper with other products, especially if I know I have like a good quality foundation um, and some more prestige products. I kind of like to even it out from a pocketbook. So I'm going to try this for the first time. It says it's a very sharp point, so I like that, especially when we do an extreme look. Um, and I'm going to start going in with my eyeliner to start defining my eyes and pull this look together so we don't just look like a crazy canvas of color here, okay? All right. So this is what the point looks like. I'm sure you can see it's extremely sharp. I love that. Um, and I think I paid, I want to say, $7.99 or $8.99 for this. I love it when it's sharp and I can get real close into my lash line. 
that's important for me. Um, I like to start real close and tight into the lash line. If you can get it into that little gap where the skin and the lashes are, that's the best place to be because it's going to help just give you a really solid black line. But yeah, I like it. The brush is very flexible too, so it's not too stiff. It doesn't poke at you or pull at the skin. And now I'm going to start building this wing using my tape as my guide. And it's really, it seems really black. Like, you know, how some kind of, they look so jet black, but then once they're on the skin, they kind of have that faded gray look. This actually, like, looks like legit, so... For the price point, I am pleased. Maybe it is Maybelline. Maybe it is. So quick tidbit, not even a tidbit, like just chat, but do you guys ever find like you don't know what's new from Maybelline? Because I feel like every time I go to the store, they have a new volume mascara. And I feel like saying to like all you girls out there, like how much more damn volume do you want? Like just get some band lashes don't be selfish I mean Maybelline can only put out like so much you know like volume express volume leopard um, volume cheetah what I mean what else volume panda I mean what else do you guys need come on let's be real let's not be selfish here there's like 10,000 great lashes if you can't find one you like then you're in the wrong line honey <laughs> okay Okay, so, so far so good with this um, liquid liner from Maybelline. I really love the pigmentation. Um, the, obviously, the test is going to be how long it lasts, if it's going to smear on me throughout the day and throughout the southern heat because I do live in the south. Um, but I really like how well it covered over the pigmentation because, you know, it, it is hard to see in the lighting, but MAC pigments can be very rich and very thick, especially the matte ones. So I really like the way this covered and the way it kind of just glided on for me. Um, so yeah, awesome job, Maybelline. Now, since this is pretty much set and dry, I'm going to start gently pulling this tape. Remember, do not rip unless you need a wake-up call. And we're gonna pull upwards and so my wing got a little cut off but it's okay because we have the basics of where we're at I'm just gonna extend that wing on that eye but do the same here real gentle pull up and I'm gonna extend the wings on these eyes because I want a little bit more but I really do love the colors right now and once we put our foundation and concealer on it's really gonna start popping so let's go do that and then we'll meet back I'm gonna be using today um, Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea foundation because I just wanted a really youthful glow especially with this fun eye makeup look um, and this is a water-based foundation so it's great for oilier skin and also has a broad spectrum spectrum of SPF and as you know tart is you know vegan gluten free uh, sugar free probably I don't even know but it's an awesome product uh, nonetheless and I really do like this this is a little more medium coverage so I'm going to mix a little bit of urban decay naked skin into the mix to just help with some of my redness and all of that fun stuff um, so yeah let's meet back <laughs> okay so really quick before I go into my foundation I did forget one thing I wanted to share um, I had gotten a question about you know what kind of skincare products and things that I recommend and I found this on Amazon it had really great reviews and um, to me, it was a new company. I don't know how long they've been around, but it's um, Rada Rosehip Oil, and it's 100% pure natural rosehip oil, certified organic. It's cold pressed. I take it every day, no matter if I'm using like an oil-free lotion-based cream or I'm using a richer, you know, creamy-based cream. I always take a about two to three drops of this and put it right into my moisturizer. I circulate it all over my face in upward strokes to try to defy gravity. Um, but I do really love this product and I find that it drinks right into my skin. It doesn't feel greasy and slimy um, throughout the day. I don't feel like I'm a you know good old uh, can of Crisco. I mean I just really really like it. Um, and 
I do tend to have more combination skin, um, generally a little more dry in the winter and a little more oily in the summer. So I do recommend it. I think sometimes our skin produces too much oil because it's actually saying, hey, whoa, wake up, I need moisture. So um, no, don't be afraid of oils. Try different ones out. Not everyone, you know, I know we use coconut oil on everything from like toes to our heads, but not everyone can do coconut oil. Um, I like argan oil. I like yojoba oil. I like grapeseed oil. But this rosehip oil is phenomenal. It's really great for lightening any kind of dark spots, um, discoloration, wrinkles, scarring. So yes, as always, check with a doctor, okay? Ain't no doctor. But I do love it and I do recommend it. Again, it's Arada, R-A-D-H. A rosehip oil. You can find them on Instagram, Amazon, and no, I'm not paid to be saying this to you guys. I just really love it. Okay, let's continue. Okay guys, so a trick that I want to show you, I don't know if I've showed it on camera, I feel like everyone should own one of these little dual sided brushes, concealer brush from IT Cosmetics. You have your flat edge to help place your product and then you have your buffing side which is going to help you know, to just airbrush the look for you. And after I beauty blend my concealer, I go in with this small little buffer and I just make sure that everything is blended in areas that I maybe couldn't reach with my beauty blender. And just make sure that the concealer goes right up to that color that we have there so that this way you don't see any harsh lines. And then just take a step back always, check, make sure everything's blended, press it in, set it, and you know it just really helps to give you a nice even finish so you don't see that gap to where the concealer is and where your eye makeup is so let's go ahead and start baking now Okay guys, so um, another new product I want to show you is Bye Bye Blush from IT Cosmetics and it looks like this. This is the color Naturally Pretty. It looks a bit light, but it does have quite a bit of pigmentation to it. Um, so I want to do that kind of in the apples of the cheeks and then I'm going to use my usual Desert Rose from MAC more into the cheekbone itself so that it just has a really pretty kind of radiant color of the light to the dark and then a little bit of highlight on the cheekbone. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Um, I hope you can get the idea of the colors. I, I really hate that my lighting sucks so much, but I swear I'm gonna work on this. I'm gonna get a ring light. Everybody's got goals for 2017 and Nicole's is a ring light and some professionalism. But um, yeah, this was a really fun <laughs> look to do and it's just it's uppity, it's fun, it's cute, it reminds me of trolls. I know I don't look like a troll character, but I just think the colors and everything are just so much fun. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I used my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, my MAC Pro Longwear and all that fun stuff, my usual routine, and you can actually check some of my other videos to see more about how I like to highlight and contour my face. Um, and then of course my It Cosmetics Build a Brow, which I absolutely love my tweezer man oh my god i gotta show you guys rose gold rose gold oh my god i love rose gold um to curl my lashes that's another thing you could do some falsies if you want to really make this a very dramatic and fun look um maybe some glitter up in there whatever you want to do whatever your heart tells you um and of course i finished with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And on the lips, we have Urban Decay's Big Bang, I think it is, as well as um, 
sheer anarchy. So I'll make sure I put all the products down below, anything that you didn't see on camera today. And um, as always, thank you so much. Thank you guys for supporting me, for watching me. Um, hit me up with a thumbs up, comment, subscription, anything you can do. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, write that down below too. If you just want to give me a shout out, that's cool too. I love hearing from everyone. And again, I appreciate the support so much. It took a lot to come out and start doing these videos because I am pretty shy. Um, I love makeup. I love skincare. I love everything beauty, but I am pretty insecure too sometimes. So it's really cool to come out and connect with you guys and to get such good feedback. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.